This 13-year-old child is being handcuffed and hauled off to juvenile hall for a crime she did not commit. <laughs> Nia Wims is in tears. She's accused of making threats against her school in Pembroke Pines, Florida. But her attorney says Nia was actually framed by another student. Nia was held for 11 long and scary days at a juvenile detention center. Her mom says that a student who'd already been bullying Nia took the harassment to a whole new level by impersonating her daughter on Instagram and then threatening to bomb the school and kill a fellow student. I spoke to Nia and her mother, Leslie Davis. What did you feel when you saw the officer take your daughter and put her in handcuffs? I said to her, um, you're going to handcuff her too? As Nia was locked up, she begged police to investigate who was really behind the threatening messages. But they say police failed to track down the source of the threats for two months. Police claim their investigation was delayed because Nia's family initially did not cooperate with investigators. They needed to acknowledge they were wrong. We screwed up. Don't try to pass the buck on a 13-year-old little girl and her mother um, saying that they didn't cooperate. This is something that she'll carry on with her for years. The school tells us the safety and security of their students is their top priority. The charges against Nia were dropped and police say the other student whose name has not been made public ended up being charged instead.